Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor's version of trigonometry. This is going to be a four, maybe a five part series on trigonometry. This first video is just going to go through a little bit of the explanation of what trigonometry is and how everything works together. So I hope you guys like it and uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're dealing with is a triangle, and specifically a right triangle, which means that one of the angles is 90 degrees. The other two angles are going to end up adding to 90 degrees, but in all cases, we're dealing with this scenario right here. So that's our first start. The second thing is, how do we start defining all the different sides and the angles? How does this work? Well, we have to have a starting point, and that is identified by this little line. And what that represents is the identified angle. And once again, that's our starting point. And you can see there's a little symbol. There's a little angle. So from that point, every other side can de be defined. If we go straight across from that, we call that side the opposite. If we go right to the side, or you could say adjacent to the angle, we're going to call that the adjacent. And then the third one is straight across from the 90. That's the hypotenuse. And that's always going to be the way these are named. And then there's going to be a definite relationship between the three sides depending on the three different angles. And how we define that relationship or how that works is what we call trigonometry or you may have heard this, SOHCAHTOA. And each of the three letters represents one function. So, for instance, the first function, SOH, is called the sine function. And what the sine function is, is a relationship between the opposite side and the hypotenuse side. So, if you find those two sides, or if you know those two, you can then find the actual angle that separates the two of them. So, that's the first one. Now, in the, in the next video, I'm going to go through some examples, show you how to use a calculator and stuff like that. But... For right now, we're just gonna, I'll just show you how the three different uh, trigonometry functions. So sine is the first one. The CAH, well, that refers to the cosine. And that's the relationship between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So you, if you know those two, you can find the angle between the two of them. All right. And then the third one is what we call tangent. And that's a relationship between the opposite and the adjacent. Now the idea in any of these three is if you have three variables, you know two of them, you can find the other. So for instance, if you had the, if you knew the angle and you knew the adjacent, but you were trying to find the hypotenuse, well, you'd be using the cosine. So you had the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Or if you knew the two sides, you could find the angle or the reverse. So you need three variables. And the whole idea here is to be able to find the relationship between all of them. And this works for all angles. All right. So watch the second video. I'll show you. I think I'm going to go through co or sign in the second one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you back soon.